breathing. It's pretty much mandatory, right? Not according to researchers in Massachusetts at the Boston Children's Hospital. They've developed an injectable form of oxygen that can keep a non-breathing patient alive for up to 30 minutes until normal breathing can be restored. The liquid made of fat that contains microparticles of oxygen small enough to squeeze through tiny capillaries to keep the oxygen level in the bloodstream at near normal levels. I know what you're thinking. Could we possibly turn this into a way to breathe underwater and return to the sea from which we came? Don't hold your breath. Pope Benedict XVI recently opened a Twitter account to preach to his flock in 140 characters or less. Many of his millions of followers have tweeted back, most asking for prayers to be answered or sins to be forgiven. But some may definitely need to go to confession. Will I go to hell if I watch Will and Grace? Another asked, who would win in a fight between Jesus Christ and Wolverine? Are these the kinds of questions to pose to the leader of billions of Catholics around the world? Not sure, but I put my money on Wolverine any day. It doesn't matter where you came from, it's what you can do. So if you're watching a live police chase on TV and at that exact same moment you see it pass by your living room window, does that qualify as a superpower? That's likely what Jason Lee is asking himself after viewing a chase on his TV while seeing the fugitive and the cops pass by his location live and then watching it again on TV. We've seen a lot of people scrutinizing this video for its authenticity, so we sent a copy over to the Rocket Boom Institute for Internet Studies to have a look. Here's the main thing they came up with. This video appears to be authentic. However, there is story play at hand. By adding more context, we notice that Mr. Lee uploaded four additional videos to his channel of himself out on the street, also filming the chase. You can see here he has an accomplice or someone else who is also anticipating the return of the chase. The key words here being anticipating the return. Several laps were taken of the chase, giving Mr. Lee plenty of time to obtain many angles. After filming lap number three, five, six, and seven, Mr. Lee went back inside to film lap number eight on the TV. Thus, over the time frame of the two hour chase and the seven plus laps around Mr. Lee's location, there were some luxuries afforded to him, in particular, anticipation of the return. So basically, he knew it was going to happen. With all of those laps, he had plenty of time to set up a perfect shot. But it was a clever shot, don't you think? Dispelling rumors in LA from New York City, I'm Kagan and this is Rocket Boom.